What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to discuss the markup tools. Okay, so you can find it here on the review tab and then you can see here the markup tools. Alright, so here on our markup tools panel, it will enable you to markup viewpoints and clash results with markup annotations. So when you create a markup, the associated viewpoint is automatically saved. Okay, so let's say, for example, I want to mark up this area here. So this view, okay, right? So I just want to put a markup here. So let's say I want to put an arrow, all right? So I'll click the drop down arrow here, and then you'll be able to see here the shapes that you can create for your markup. So let's say I'll select an arrow, so I'll pick that one, and then you, um, you need to pick the tail first of the arrow, the tail location. So let's say this is the location, so one and then you can pick another point here for the head two there you go all right and then after that you can specify the annotation the text all right so you can pick the text by the way you can change here the color and then you can also change the thickness of your annotation all right so in my case i'll just use the default so i'll just select the text here and then i'm just going to pick here there you go so let's say i'm going to type change the color and then i'll just select okay there you go now uh you can't easily select the uh text here and then just drag it all right so what you do is instead of using the select tool here like for example select box you can't do that okay you cannot select the annotation so what you can do is to select the annotation you just need to right click that by the way you will notice my save viewpoints here it added the um, viewpoint so if i pan my drawing so i can still go back to the annotation that i have made a while ago so i'll just click the viewpoint here that was created automatically after i place the annotation all right so again if you want to edit the text you want to move it or you want to edit it so you just need to right click that and then you can see these three options here so you have move edit and then delete markup so you can select move all right so you can move your text right your annotation so just right click move and then pick the target location if you want to edit so just right click edit and then you can change the annotation okay right and then i'll just select here okay all right so your viewpoint will update as well so if i change my viewpoint and then i want to go back to that annotation so i'll just click that and then it will go back there so for to tidy up your viewpoint so i think it would be better you just right click the viewpoints here and then let's create a folder for uh, markups okay so markups enter all right and then let's drag this inside all right so it's now there okay so that's our uh, text and then your arrow okay so another option you can create a cloud okay and then you can also select erase here if you want so you can click erase and then you just window up oh, window the complete annotation like that okay anyway i'm going to undo that i don't want to delete so that's my annotation all right so let's try other options here so let's click create a cloud okay so let's say i want to cloud something else so let's say this one this viewpoint okay so i'm going to select cloud so you need to pick one by one the arc one like that so you need to pick one by one all right and then after that again you can put a text so let's say i'll change the color to yellow and i'll change the thickness let's say to five okay and then let's select the text click and then let's put the text or maybe i'll put another arrow here okay uh arrow so one 
two okay and then text this one let's say remove and then okay then you can click oops sorry you can right click and then let's move that let's place it here all right so again that's the that's the viewpoint that was created you can also rename the viewpoints if you want so like for example for the viewpoint i'll rename that just right click and then rename to uh roof window enter okay and then you can drag that inside the view markups so just to tidy up your say viewpoints uh, window okay so what are the other options that we have here so we know we have this one and then we have the arrow so let's say so let us try out what do we have here ellipse okay so you just need to pick two points here so let's ellipse so one two hang on so one Oh no, you need to hold your left click, sorry. Alright, so let me undo that. So let's select ellipse. Hold your uh, left click. Like dragging it from left to right. Okay, so pick your first point and then window it like that. There you go. So it doesn't look like an ellipse, but that's an, the, but that's an ellipse. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, and then I'll just put an annotation here. So like... Um, I'll create a line here so line there you go and then I'll just put the text let's put the text here okay so that is uh, change location for example and then I'll select here okay and then I'll just drag that inside the markup okay so I now have three markups there so let's uh, explore the other options so we have free hands so it it draws free hand markup okay so let's do this one escape so how about here all right so let's so what's this free hand so let's click that one one so free hand so you can do like that Okay, so let's undo this so you can control the way you draw your markup. So it's freehand like that. So you just need to hold your left click. Okay, so again, so freehand. So let's say this is stair here so you can draw it like that. Okay, and then after that, I'll just put the text uh, I'll use line string so it draws a sequence of connected lines okay like that and then i'll just put a text okay demolish this there you go so i can don't zoom in because if you zoom in it will change the viewpoint thus it will uh it will hide or the annotation will disappear like that okay because it, this is now a different viewpoint so you just need to click again your uh, viewpoint here okay and then i'll just right click that and then i'll just move so let's say here there you go okay or right click move so maybe somewhere here uh, there you go uh, to be honest i don't like the annotation tools here in avisworks <laughs> Okay, it's really manual and you need to do it one by one. Anyway, so these are the tools that we can use for uh, placing markups in Navisworks. So we have the text, so we have these draw tools, and you can arrange, uh, uh, sorry, erase it. You can change the color and change the thickness. Very simple. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.